Amen. Hey, family, welcome to Morning Zoo. Thank you for joining us this morning. We are going to start with uh, a word of uh, prayer. First Chronicles 16, chapter, uh, verse 23 to 31. First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 23 to 31 says, Sing to the Lord all the earth, proclaiming his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nation, his marvelous deeds among our people. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. For all gods of the nation are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and joy are in his dwelling place. Ascribe to the Lord, all you families of nations. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due to his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. The word is firmly established. It cannot be moved. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let them say among the nation, the Lord reigns. Hallelujah. Amen. You and I, we are part of the nation today because we are still alive. And only the living can worship the Father. It's only the living that can acknowledge what he did yesterday, what he is doing and what he's about to do. So let us... Uh, Open our mouth, lift our voice, and thank the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. That made it possible for us to be counted among the living. That gave us the opportunity to be connected this morning. And we are people of God. Let us thank the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. Thank you, Mighty One of Jacob. Thank you, Holy One of Israel. Thank you, our Maker, our Sustainer, our Provider. The only true God, the unshakable one, the unstoppable one, the only one that made the heaven and earth, our Father. Lord, we thank Father, your children have come before the throne of grace this morning. You are the King of Kings, you are the Lord of Lords, you are El Father, you are Elohim, you are I, tonight, who is like us. for He is Father, there is no like you, there is no to be compared to you. And outside of Him, there is no way to you. Father, we want to glorify your name, we want to exalt your name, we want to exalt your name, we want to know you are the only one God that he sacrificed at the cross for oh, us. Lord, we Jesus, we have come this morning Lord, to God say thank Almighty. you. For, for choosing us day, among the many to be alive today. Thank you, Lord, for this thank you, Lord, for thank you, Lord, your presence for your in our life. In our love. Thank you, Papa, thank you for not forsaking us. Thank you, Lord, thank for not you, leaving us. Glory, for Papa, we say thank you thank for your word you that is alive and tangible in, in our presence in our life. Papa, we say glory be to your name this morning. Father, we love you. Papa, we appreciate you. Father, we lift your name high because there is no other God like you. You alone are worthy to be praised and adored. Papa, your word say, let every that has been praised the Lord because I have prayed, Father, and you deserve all the glory from me. You deserve all the honor from me because only the living can worship you. Oh, Papa, you say, the time will come and it is now that the true worshipers shall worship you in truth and in spirit. Thank you, Father, for giving us your spirit. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that is leading us, that is guiding us. Father, receive praise this morning, receive magnificence. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are good, you are kind. There is no other God like you. Papa, we just want to thank you for the help. Give us ministry, but thank, thank you for this platform. Father, we this say house. thank you. Daddy, we say thank you. Redeemer, After, we Father, say thank you. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for your name the blood. There Father, is give no other God like you. Father, we just want to say thank you for how far you have brought us. Thank you, Father. 
No, we are so Well, we know I just thank go off for a lot of our week. We can only say thank you, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, our provider. Thank you, our deliverer. Thank you, Holy One of Israel. Thank you, Mighty One of Mother, Jacob, for fighting our battle and to give us the victory. And Lord, Him, we bless your name because you are the you are the only one that can change situation. Oh, oh Papa, we bless you. you Father, we give you glory. I we thank give you. Oh, you are magnified, you. King of Kings. We are yes, exalted, you. Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank Amen. you, brethren, for joining. We are continuing with uh, our 15 weeks uh, of praying for our homes. Turning our houses into the modern home, the godly home, according to Proverbs 3, verse 33. Hallelujah. Amen. The previous uh, uh, weeks, we emphasized on one of the verses, which is Proverbs 15, verses that say, In the house of the righteous, there is much treasure. But in the revenue of the wicked is trouble. Hallelujah. Today we are going to explore all this treasure. Now all of them are some of these treasures that you can find in the house of the righteous. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Proverbs 24, verse 3 is going to be our main verse in this week. He says, through wisdom, a house is built, and by understanding, it is established. By knowledge, the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Hallelujah. The precious and pleasant riches are the treasures we can find in the home of the righteous, in the godly home. Hallelujah. Can we lift our voice and at least thank the Lord first for giving us a home, for giving us a house? Because none of us on this platform is a homeless. We have a house. We have a place of dwelling. We have a shelter. And we thank the Lord for giving us a roof over our head. Hallelujah. Thank you, Amen. Father. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I Father, we just want to thank you, oh, oh King of Glory. Baba, Father, Baba, we just want to us. acknowledge oh, Lord, Father, that it's only by your doing, it's only Father, by your doing, you Father God, that, you that we have a shelter. It's by your grace that we are not on the street. Baba, we just want to say thank you, Father, your provision for us to have a place to live. Okay. Thank you, King of Kings, for the physical house, for the physical home. But I also want to thank you for the spiritual home that is the, this altar, the earth gives us ministry for us. Father, we thank you, Papa. We bless your name for making us cross the path of the leaders of this altar. Oh, Father, receive our, our gratitude this morning. We are building on because we acknowledge that you are present on this earth. You yes. are the God that is served, you are the God that is uh, worship on this earth, and we see your presence, we see your touching. But that we say thank you, Lord. Yes. We bless your name, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor. We yes. that my Lord, we that exalted. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 According to this week, so postcards, we can say that we receive many definitions of a home. Hallelujah. Amen. According to the definition, the first one that touched me is that our house is supposed to be a place of resting. Hallelujah. Mm. We are going to pray according to Proverbs 27, verse 8, that say, Like a bird that wanders from its net, is a man who wanders from his place. That's the New King James Version. 
The amplified version says, like a bird that wanders from her net with its comfort and safety. So is a man who wanders from his home. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Over here, we are going to uh, look at the home as a physical place and again, as a spiritual place. Hallelujah. We are going to pray that we shall not be the one that wanders from our net, from our place of rest, from our place of comfort, from our place of safety. Hallelujah. Our home is the presence of the Father. Our home should be a place like the outgivers ministry. The Bible said that we, sh we should not live this uh, Christian life as solitary, but we're supposed to live it in community. Amen. Amen. Let us pray this morning and thank the Lord for this community he has given unto us. This place of rest, this place of comfort, this place of safety, his own presence. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Father, we bless you. Father, we give you praise. We give you all the glory. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lord, for giving us a home, for giving us a place of dwelling, a place of rest, a place of comfort, a place of safety. Providing us a shelter where Lord God Almighty we can lay down our heads. Father, Papa, we say thank, thank you, you for making you us know you. Thank you, you Father God, you for, for someone that introduced Father, us to your you kingdom. Because being part of your Father, kingdom is you. our resting place. Yes. Being part of your kingdom is our oh, Lord, place of comfort, our place of safety. Thank you, Father, for allowing us to be one of your kingdom. Because if we are outside of your kingdom, Papa, we are outside of your presence, we are lost. We pray that we shall not be like a bird that wanders from our net. We shall not be like a man who wanders from your presence. But that we know that in your presence there is peace, there is joy, there is comfort, there is happiness. Yes, Father. There is safety. Thank you, Father. Thank you for accepting us in the deal. Give you praise. Thank yeah. you, Jesus, for being the doorway to the presence of the Thank Father. You, Lord. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. We bless Thank your name. Thank we give you yes, praise. Hallelujah, Hosanna. Into your name. Thank you for providing for us. Thank you for not giving us, Lord, Lord Almighty, without homes. Thank you, Lord, for providing a place for us. Thank you for providing a shelter for us. In the name of Jesus. Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Yeah. According to the many of, uh, the, of the many definitions, we can say that the godly home is a place where godly values are implemented. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. According to Romans 12, verse 9 to 10, the Amplified classic version say, let your love be sincere. A real thing. Hate what is evil. Love all ungodliness. Turn in honor from wickedness. But to hold fast to that which is good. Love one another with brotherly affection as members of one family. Giving precedence and showing honor to one another. Hallelujah. Amen. We see that in the mother home, the love of God shall prevail. Hallelujah. Love is one of the godly values. And we need to implement that in our homes. We need to implement that in the life of our children. We need to implement that in our environment so that whoever comes will see that we are from a kingdom because our father Himself, he is the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. And thank the Lord for showing us his love. Because he was the one that loved us first and he gave us his son. 
So his love must dwell in us. His mm -hmm. love must be. His sincere love must be in us. That mm -hmm. shall be that tangible and real thing that people are supposed to see. Yes, thank and you. It shall not be in our, in our in our atmosphere. Jesus. Let us pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us love. Because you are the one that loves us first and gave us your begotten son. And you say, whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Thank you, Father, for translating us from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. Now we are part of the beloved. We are so grateful. Thank you, King of Kings, for showing us love, for teaching us that yourself you are love. Who is man? Who is yes, Papa, man? We should implement love in our homes. We should implement love in our environment. The hint shall not be found in our dwelling place. Thank you, Lord. We should love all ungodliness and turn in order from wickedness. And do everything in love. And hope fast to what? Thank you, Lord, that as you loved us, Father, we see good because you, Father, you are a good God. That we loved and you. goodness we loved is you. one of the fruits of Father, the Holy Spirit. Papa, you ask us to love one another, that that love, affection. Father, say in our homes, we should Papa, come to love have that to be value, value, in our homes, have in, homes in our prisons. We should buy carry you as love, whatever we do. Thank you that you are our and own as members of one family. We show love, affection to one another. Even bread. Father, we just it want is, to and showing and honor God. to one another. Let our oh, Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name. Your kingdom. For being love, for teaching us how to love oh, one another. Father, we thank you. We thank you, O oh, King thank of glory. You. Father, we give, you, we give you the honor. Amen. Mm -hmm. The Bible is saying in Romans 12, verse 2, yeah, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And we know from the beginning, there is uh, our main verse from Proverbs 24, say that through wisdom, a home is built. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And we should know that we be, we should build our homes on the wisdom of God. And the wisdom of God is the word of God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We are going to pray first. That we should not live according to the pattern of this world, but we shall be transformed by the renewing of our mind. And if we are trying to transition from home, from houses to homes, we need to do that according to the word of God. Hallelujah. Yeah. So let us pray and ask that the Lord shall help us with his wisdom, which is found in his word, to build our home. Hallelujah. Let, let us pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Lord, glory, oh, precious and everlasting. Oh, wisdom, a home is built. Father, we just Papa, want to, thank we want you to build our homes according, to your, wisdom, according to your wisdom, according to your word. We don't want to be transformed. We don't want to be conformed to the pattern of the world. Papa, we don't want to do things like the world does. We want to do things according to your kingdom, according to your word. Papa, we pray that our home shall be built. Built upon your, your, your word. And I will pray and we ask you to help us, us to show us the true way, the true pathway to build our to build our house. To build the foundations of our we should home. have Lord. Jesus Father, and the word Jesus as the word as the foundation of our house. That's why, Father, we pray that our house, our homes shall be built on your wisdom. We ask for your wisdom, Father God, to build our homes, to become from our homes. Father, we receive wisdom, we receive wisdom, divine wisdom, we receive divine wisdom. Come, the leaders of tomorrow, from our homes, to come. Divine wisdom in order to communicate, in order to interact. Those that will observe the principles. 
Father, we thank your you, Lord, as commandment, you grant us, your precepts, you blessed us. That's why, Father, God, we ask, we ask of your wisdom to build our hopes. We ask of your wisdom. Oh, Rama Mashi, Kere, Bebe, Rivera, Barabori, Bebe, Shakara, Mama, 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 Oh, wow. for divine wisdom, for and, divine and then wisdom. we should do in our in home. The name of our Lord Jesus. Be according to your and word. Lord, Lord Almighty, we will pray not the name of the Jesus. Flesh. That but all the that we do help in us, our home will help us. That be the proved. Us, that us, is good, in in acceptable, Jesus. and it come oh, for your perfect you, will. Thank you, that we thank you. We bless your name. That bless your will you. shall be done Amen. in our life, in Amen. our hopes, Amen. in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Amen. The home of the righteous is where the kingdom of God is advanced. For the kingdom of God to be advanced, the word of God must be respected, honored, valued, and live in the house of the, in the home of the righteous. Hallelujah. John John 1, the first five verses from the New King James Version say, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. Hallelujah. Verse 3, All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Hallelujah. As we are building our homes on the word of God, with the wisdom of God, we are going to pray that all things that should be taking place, that should be happening in our homes, supposed to be based upon the word of God. The way we even decorate our home supposed to be according to the parents of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. All that we should bring to our home supposed to be things that we know will give God glory. Hallelujah. And mm -hmm. we need to call the life of God which is the light of men to be in our homes. Because the Bible said, he, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. I wish after this morning too, we can walk through our homes, calling the life of God over our homes in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. And let the lights of men shine in our homes. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. By the Jesus beginning Lord, was the word. Lord, and the word was with God. And the word was God. As we read in was the book in the beginning of God. God. In the beginning was the yes, word. Yes, Lord. All this the were made through him. Father. And without him, nothing was made that was made. And him was the life was the word. of the word. And the life Father, was the light of men. And I pray word. this morning word that I should be the one to speak the word of God in every corner in my home. I should speak the word word of God life to every item, to every furniture, to every Lord, in my home, God my home Lord shall be filled with the, the presence of God. God. Because so when we Lord speak God the word of God, God and the light of God, the bread of God, of God, that that's when the angels of the Lord will take because it Lord, and we are the kingdom. in our life. Now wherever we go, we carry the kingdom that's with us. That's when the presence Father, of God will dwell in our homes for the dharma. As we carry the Lord himself in us, we shall be the one to speak his word, to pray his word, to bring the that word over the people of our homes. Over 
that our as we prophesy, as we confess, as we confess, as we confess the word of God, that the word of God will be justified. Forbid the lights of men. Confess the word of God over our home, over our tents. The word of God will remove any unwanted things that are in our home. And as we confess the word of God, oh Lord, over our homes. Over our thank children, you, Lord, Jesus. their lives will not be the foundation. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your word. Your word that heals. Your word that restores. Your word that delivers. It's your word that is life. Your word that gives us life. Your word that gives us life. Your word that gives us life. Your thank word will be life. Thank you for your word. Life. Thank you for your word. Your word will be life. Your word in our home. Your word will be life. 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 Your word will as human beings, we are distracted sometimes and we do other things. And we do not spend the whole day speaking the word of God. So we need to be playing the Bible in our home. May the word of God fill the atmosphere of our homes. Amen. 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 The uh, home of the righteous, where the kingdom is advanced. This home requires investments in order for us to enjoy its comfort. So in our home, supposed to be found the kingdom life, lifestyle. And the primordial kingdom life, lifestyle is uh, the individual prayer time and family devotion. Hallelujah. Luke 18 verse 1 said, Then he spoke a parable to them. There are men always ought to pray and not lose heart. Hallelujah. Amen. And Matthew 21, verse 13 say, And he said to them, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. Let us see over here. Isaiah 56, verse 7 say, Even them I will bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offering and their sacrifices will be accepted on my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. Hallelujah. Amen. And our home be called a house of prayer. Do we have devotion time established in our family? Do we have Continuous, permanent prayer time that we do every single day at the same time in our home. If we want our home to be the altar of the Father, to be where His presence dwells, people of God, we need to implement kingdom lifestyle, which is praying, individual prayer time, and family devotion. We should. Oh, we should always pray and not lose heart. Hallelujah. Amen. God, let us pray. And that we should establish a prayer life in our homes. We should be the one to lead that kind of prayer. The family devotion. Teach our children that men always ought to pray and not to lose heart. Hallelujah, because uh, Jesus said his house shall be called a house of prayer and we should mm -hmm. not make it a den of thieves. And our home should not be a place where other people will come and then we will gossip. And when people come to our homes, that our homes shall be considered a holy mountain, a joyful Amen. place uh, where the burnt offering and sacrifice are accepted on the altar of the Father. Our home shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. Hallelujah. Let us Amen. pray. Amen.
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. For reminding us that our home is supposed to be called a house of prayer, especially in these days. Prayer, not faint, oh Lord. Where churches are persecuted, Papa. Your word said the time has come, and it is now that the true worshipers shall worship the Father in truth and in spirit. The same way that Elijah prayed. Our home shall be called a holy mountain. Our home shall be called a house of prayer. Where the birth of him, the sacrifice has been the same way that Lord the altar of the Father. Papa, we pray. That, that we shall be the prayer machine in our home. Continually pray that, over our homes. That we need to receive the to grace to carry from the place a, a of prayer to over our home. homes. In the name Wait, of Father, for us Jesus. to advance Father, the kingdom of God in our home, we shall command. be praying you are all the time. Your children Always that they should pray, pray, Lord God Almighty, that our men ought always to and pray and to teach faint. our children. Father, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, time. that we receive that we grace. Shall pray we receive the grace to continually pray, to pray without ceasing, to pray consistently, to pray, Lord God Almighty, persistently in the name of our Lord Jesus. The Lord keep on coming our family. The Lord as we pray the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit, prayer says that Lord as we pray, to implement that prayer life of kingdom lifestyle in our homes, in our family. Our homes shall be called a house of prayer. Even our children, the end of days. Those in our oh, Father, we pray the name Lord of God Jesus Almighty. by implementing they this in the life to of our children. You grant them that grace no that God they will call to cultivate their lifestyle, to cultivate their lifestyle in our spirit as the name of Jesus said us in the name of our Lord Jesus. Home shall Father, be your we thank you. Where your the presence is felt all the time. The Holy Spirit will be our helper. Not, uh, and our then home, of this, as you have said, not, uh, our home will be a house of prayer. And then we your talk presence, about unnecessary stuff. Your presence will never be felt in our home. Your presence will never be felt in our home. Your presence will never be felt in our home. Your presence shall saturate our home. Your glory shall overwhelm our home. Your glory shall fill our home. Your people, when they come to our home, they shall feel your presence. Our homes shall be called the Holy Mount. Every evil spirit, the every form of darkness will be accepted in the name of our Lord Jesus. Father. Thank Father, you, Father, thank for making you our house to be called a house of prayer. Our home to be, Lord, home to be we a place of your Lord. presence. Oh, yes, thank Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, King of Kings. Give us your name. Give you glory. We bless you. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Amen. As Jesus is the foundation of our home, and the Father is the King on the throne of our homes, we are going to pray because we want our our homes to be the place where the kingdom is advanced before we raise an altar unto the father we need to destroy any former altar hallelujah according to jeremiah 1 verse 10 he said see i have this day set you over the nation over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy Mm -hmm. and to throw down, then to build and to plant. Hallelujah. Amen. Who of God, I believe we are anointing our homes every day. We are anointing our homes seriously during these 15 weeks of prayer for our homes. For our housing to become a modern home. We don't know the people that lived in our homes before, our houses before. We don't know the foundation on which the physical house is built. But the Spirit of the Lord is urging us to destroy any altar, any former altar that was in that place. So this morning, as the Lord has already given us the power to tread upon serpent and scorpion over all the power of the enemy, and he said, nothing but shall enemies hurt us. We are going to pray and we are going to root out 
pull down, destroy, and throw down anything that was done on that place, that physical place. We are going to use our anointing oil. We are going to call the blood of Jesus. And we are going to root out, pull out, pull down, destroy every former altar that was in that physical home. Hallelujah. Then we will build, erect the altar unto the Father. Let us pray. And while we are praying, I must stop recording so that we can uh, you for a song. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And we know what we have to use when it comes to destroy the former home. It has to be the blood of Jesus. Father, we have read from your word that over the nations, over the kingdoms, to build down, to pull down, to destroy, and to throw down, to build, to build and to plan. Father, we thank you for the dominion mandate that you have bestowed upon us. You gave us the authority. To 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 us, God, God Almighty, every evil thought or king of glory, Lord, every man of the name of Jesus, of glory. and I speak Lord, to this uh, physical you know that, 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 that oh, by that Father, in the name of the Jesus, the name of Jesus, there is power as that Father name, God, you have that has been mentioned that you have mentioned that name, secret, let this weapon of mass destruction, anointing oil, Papa. We pray in the and name of Jesus that anything that does not come homes, from you, anything that, in that in does not homes, confess your name in this we, place of dwelling, we, we command it in to be uprooted in the name of Jesus. The blood we pull down every other that was of, in this um, physical home before. But are you know our address? Whenever we dwell in this physical Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. Lord, we put the blood of Jesus over every door post, over every door post of our house. Lord, we use the blood of Jesus in the physical mark this land, in your biggest address. Lord, Papa, I call no for the blood arrow, of Jesus. Arrows during the day, arrows during the way. night. Everything that Lord that God Almighty, the power that is in the blood of Jesus shall conquer and destroy and uproot them in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, from the foundations we plead the blood of Jesus to uproot any Lord God Almighty, any country, Lord God Almighty, around our territories, around our homes, Lord God Almighty, Lord, that the blood of Jesus will bring confusion among the amnesty of them in the name of Papa, Allah. Like you told Lord, God, that man of valor that think he was the leader in his home. <laughs> and his father's home. Papa, Lord, we, we do the down, same this morning. Lord, down. Lord whatsoever that was not planted by you in our homes, we pull them whatever down. Lord, we tear them down. We uproot them in the name of Oh, Rabbi, you said the anointing shall destroy, the anointing shall break every yoke. Oh, Rabbi, as we plead the blood of Jesus, as we mark our doorposts with the blood of Jesus, as we continue to plead the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood that speaks Let the blood continue to speak over our home. Invoke the blood of Jesus. I invoke the blood of Jesus to speak over our home, to speak over our homes, to speak over the, 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 our community, over our territory, over the streets that we need the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. 
We are going to build and to build. We need again the blood of Jesus. We are going to pray with a song that says we enter through the blood of Jesus. We build by the blood of Jesus. We demolish by the blood of Jesus. Amen. The system, the structure, we enter the earth. We enter by the blood of Jesus. destroy every altar of Baal. That was a wicked structure. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. We set the condition of the account by the blood of Jesus. Father, because the presence of the Lord to dwell in our books, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, over the earth, we bless your name, we give you glory, we have root them, we have root them, we have root them, we have root them, amen, 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 a righteous home is supposed to be considered a righteous altar. Amen. And this righteous altar demands a godly priest. And you and I are the priest of this altar. Hallelujah. So we need to be the one to, uh, to keep the fire burning on the altar. And we need to be the one to have a sacrificial life, a life of sanctification, a life of giving, a life of fasting. Hallelujah. And when it comes to Sanctification, uh, Apostle Joshua Sermon says, sanctification means uh, aptness from all the ungodly things, the loss of the flesh, the desire of the flesh, those we need to abstain ourselves from, but we have now to give devotion to our God. Hallelujah. And the devotion is the giving and the fasting and the prayer. Hallelujah. So that's what we need to do on this new altar that we have erected in our homes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 24, 21 to 22. Those will be the value of the kingdom that we need to implement in our homes uncompromisingly. Hallelujah. So whatever we know that the word of God is asking us to do, we need to implement it in our homes. It does not matter who is there or who is not there. Look at what Proverbs 24 is saying. My son, fear the Lord and the king. Do not associate with for those given to change. For their calamity will rise suddenly. And who knows the ruin those two can bring? Hallelujah. We need to have the values of the kingdom in our homes. Implementing our home all the time. And it shall remain like that. It does not matter who is there. It's not because we are in the home that our children need to fear the law or fear the king. No, they shall just obey the principle, the precept, the commandment of the Lord always in our home because our home is the altar of the Lord. Hallelujah. When we look at uh, Proverbs 24 again, 23 to 25, we say this thing also belong to the wise. It is not good to show partiality in judgment. He who says to the wicked, you are righteous. Him, the people will curse. Nation will abhor him. But those who rebuke the wicked will have delight. And a good blessing will come upon them. Hallelujah. We need to teach our children. And we ourselves need to be the first one to do these things. Live according to the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. And like the Bible says, it's not good to show partiality in judgment. We shall do things according to the kingdom of God. If we are truly the righteous person, we should not call what is wicked, righteous. We should call wicked, wicked, and righteous, righteous. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Corinthians, uh, 1 Corinthians 10, 31 is telling us, therefore, whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Whatever we do in our house, in our home, supposed to give God glory. Amen. We thank you, Father. We bless your name. Proverbs 31, verse 4 to 5 say, It is not for kings, O oh, Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes intoxicating drink. Let they drink, let they drink and forget the law. Lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the justice of all the afflicted. Hallelujah. When I was preparing for today, the Lord put on my heart Proverbs 31 and I went through and I saw exactly what we supposed to implement in our house. When we say that we want to follow the, the pattern of the kingdom and we ourselves as kings, we should not drink. We should not be the one to even offer that kind of drink to anyone. We should not serve it in our house. Amen. Let us pray that the value of the kingdom are implemented in our home uncompromisingly. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Papa, we pray that everything we shall do in the house shall give you glory alone. Papa, your word says, First Corinthians 10, 31, therefore, whether you eat or drink, whatsoever you do it for the glory of God. Papa, whatever we do in our home, so we pray that it shall give you glory. Papa, we pray that our home shall be a channel to give you glory, a channel to lift your name higher, a channel to I appreciate to a channel to honor you in the name of Jesus. Like you or anything that you said uh, in Proverbs 31, that is but not for kings to drink Lord wine, Lord not for princes intoxicated drink. Because you don't want us to drink and forget the law. Papa, you don't want us to pervert the justice of the afflicted. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that your presence that we implement in our house shall remain and compromise no matter what. It does not depend on who is there or who is under. Father, we pray in the name of by the power of the Holy Ghost that we shall implement the values of the kingdom in our homes in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you for all that we do in our house shall be according to your wisdom. You said that this thing also belongs to the wise in our good superficiality in judgment. That by the way we talk, the way we behave, the way we run a judgment of us shall be according to your word. But we should not call the wicked the righteous because the, the one who behave like that, that the Holy Spirit, like that, the the Holy Spirit will him. help us to and those who reveal the wicked we have the light and the fruit of the Spirit that will not uncompromise the fruit of the Spirit in our home in order to advance your kingdom Father we call upon your blessing over our children Lord we give you glory Father we give you praise in the name of Jesus Amen even John 7 37 to 39 is telling us something very wonderful that is uh, a, co a concern the godly home because the godly home is a source of unlimited supply of the basis of life. Hallelujah. Verse 37 mm -hmm. Now, on the final and most important day of the feast, Jesus stood and he cried in a loud voice, If a man is thirsty, let him come to drink, let him come to me and drink. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. If we are thirsty, we should come to Jesus. Verse 38. He who believes in me, who cleaves and trusts in and rely on me, as the scripture has said, from his innermost being shall flow continuously springs and rivers of living water. Amen. Amen. Mr. Nancy he was speaking here of the Spirit, whom those who believed, trusted, had faith in him were afterward to receive. For the Holy Spirit had not been yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified, raised to honor. But today, the good news is that you and I, we have this Holy Spirit with us. We have him within us because Jesus is already glorified. Hallelujah. So in our home, the godly home, 
should be the source of unlimited supply of basis of life, which is the rivers of living water. When people mm -hmm. come in our homes, so they shall feel the rivers of the living water. Let us pray and thank the Lord for the Holy Spirit that dwell in us, that lead us, so that whatever we do, the presence of our Father, Father shall remain. Father, we just want to thank you for the comfort, sir. I want to thank you, thank for you the Father. Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you King of Kings. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the gift of thank the Holy you, Spirit. Lord, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being our helper, for being our sustainer. We thank you for because we have trusted the Lord. Because we have clinged to Him. Because we rely on Him, like this book just said. From us, from our belly shall flow. Continually oh, thank spring you, Lord, and thank rivers you, of Lord, living thank water. You, oh, King oh, of Papa. oh, thank you. We for thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence in us in our oh, life. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for leading us in all we do, whatever we do, especially in our hopes. Oh, 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 May that your Lord, from the innermost being, say as we believe in you, as we trust in you, O God, that in our innermost being shall flow continually the springs and the rivers of living water. Out of our belly, as we trust in you, out of our belly shall come the, the issues of life. Our that children the would never lack your shall presence. Flow, water shall the gush out of from our belly. Thank you, Papa, for making us your carrier. Out of our belly shall flow living and a river of living water. Out of us and from the aquifer of the bodies of the mouth, Lord, our Lord, the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. Papa, we shall speak life in our homes. We shall speak the mouth of 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 we shall speak oh, your peace Lord, in our home. Lord. Oh, Father, we thank you. Papa, oh, we bless your name. Lord. We give you glory. In oh, yes, Jesus' Lord. name we have prayed. Amen. 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 I pray that uh, all of us that joined this morning will go back through the, uh, the postcast of week three and truly implement the values of the kingdom how our home is supposed to be the source of unlimited supply of basis of life. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Let us share the grace. May the grace of the our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ the, the love, love of God, God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest in our mind with us now and forever. forever. Surely. Amen. God's, God's goodness, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell, dwell in the house of the Lord forever, forever and ever. ever. Amen. Amen. Amen.